Hi guys, welcome to another Rare Hunter pack opening video. Uh, today I've got a Jewel Overload box, which I got from Geek Retreat in Chelmsford when it opened yesterday. And what I got on eBay, I um, don't think the first edition or anything, but I love all the Dark Magicians and Blue Eyes cards, so I've picked up a Yugi and Kaiba collector box, which I'm going to open up for you today as well. So really excited about that. But I think to start off with, we're going to open up the Jewel Overload box and just see what we get. You can see a little bit of damage there to the box and everything, but all the packs inside should be absolutely fine. Right, okay. So let's make a start on the Jewel Overload box. I've got a knife for that. Okay. Oh, and there's a big card at the back. What is our big card? We got, oh nice, Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's pretty cool. Put that aside over there. So you get six packs in here, all first edition. Oh, with nice artworks on the front. Again, I'm not too sure what the best cards in here are to pull. But we'll have a look and see what we get. So we've got five-headed Link Dragon to start off with, which is uh, ultra rare. Are they all ultra rares? I think they are. Uh, we have Magic Formula. So a great card for um, Dark Magicians, which you know I'm trying to build a deck on. So equipped to only to Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl, it gains 700 attack. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, gain a thousand life points. So a really, really cool card, actually. I'll set that aside. We've got Destiny Hero, Hero Celestial. Card of Fate. So each player chooses one card from their deck. Then each player combines it with four additional random cards chosen from their re, chosen from their deck by their opponent. Then randomly select one of those five cards to reveal and add to their hand. Shuffle the rest of the deck into the decks. Shuffle the rest back into the decks. You can only activate one card of fate per turn. And we've got Dark Anthelion Dragon. Cool. So yeah, I'm just really looking to get lots and lots of nice cards that I can use in the Magician deck. If I can get some really nice Blue Eyes cards as well. I do have a small collection of Blue Eyes stuff, so again, would really like to get anything you know, to do with the original show. Um, that's what I most remember about Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, coming back from a long time away, so we've got Starving Venomy Lethal Dose Dragon. Blimey. Um, Swap Frog. He's a little, cool little frog. We've got Magical Musketeer Casper. So that's quite a nice looking card, actually. We've got Malefic Divide. And Secret Six Samurai Fuma. Nice. So I'm going to look up at the end of the video um, and just see, you know, which ones out of this pack are the rarest, which ones are, are worth them the most. Um, but I'm probably not going to sell them. Probably just add them to the collection and we'll keep going. And eventually I can build lots of different decks. So just looking forward to it, really. Lib the World, Lib the World Key Blade Master. Dangerous Fright for Night Mary. Okay. Speedroid Marble Machine. Malefic Tune. And Cubic Ascension. Okay. Extra Hero Infernal Divisor. Golden Castle of Stormberg. Protector Welk of the Destruction Swordsman. Zombie World. That's quite a nice looking one. I like that. It's a shame it's got, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, there's a little holographic dot just on the first edition. And it looks like another dot just here. It's a bit of a misprint on that, which is a shame because it's quite a nice looking card, that. And Salon Great Almira. Amirage. 
And again, this one's got some sort of little dot. Just there, look. So hopefully all the packs aren't like that. Hopefully it was just that one. <clears throat> and we've got second to last pack here from the Jewel Overload. Witchcrafter Creation. Dangerous Fright for Nightmare again. Speed Road Marble Machine again. Malefic Tune and Cube Extension. I want to say that's like nearly the identical deck uh, pack we opened up a second ago. And last one, which has got Relinquished Anima on the front. Be cool if we could pull that. Yeah. A bit more trouble with that one. We've got Infinite Impermanence. Impermanence, sorry. Swap Frog. Magical Musketeer Casper again. Malefic Divide again. And Se Secret Six Samurai Fumo again. So, nice few super or ultra rare cards from that whole set. Um, I think Magic Form is probably my, my favourite one. Just because I like all the magicians. So, it's good to get something else to use in the deck. Right, on to the Yugi and Kaiba Collector Box. So in here you get, let's bring it around to the front so you can see, you get a starter deck Kyber box reloaded and a starter deck Yugi box reloaded. If you want to see what's inside them, because I don't know if I'm going to open up on the channel. And the same with the Yugi one. Yeah, a really nice looking Dark Magician card here. A little bit stuck on, wow. So we'll just open them up. Oh, it's not just a Dark Magician. So you get an Ultra Rare Dark Magician and an Ultra Rare Blue Eyes White Dragon. Those look really nice. Unexpected, I didn't know that you got that in there. As well, I thought it was just start position, but it makes sense. So we'll set those aside. And we get three of each Duelist Pack Yugi and Duelist Pack Kaiba. And they are they are really stuck down there. I'm trying to do it without damaging any of the cards. Wow. Blimey. Okay, see if we can get the Kyber packs off. There's one. Cool. These are so hard to get off. And the last pack, can we get it off? Just about. Right, we're there. Sorry about that, guys. We've got the three packs here to open. We've got both the decks and both the Blue Eyes and Dark Magician in that set. So it's a really nice looking set, actually. I'm going to start off with the Dualist Pack Kybers. Hopefully I've not torn the cards inside to absolute shreds, getting them off. So we've got Lord of D, Interdimensional Matter Transporter, Sword Stalker, Lajin the Mystical Genie of the Lamp, and Vampire Lord as our rare. So quite a nice little pull there. Y Dragon Head, Magic Reflector, Ancient Lamp, X Head Cannon, and our Super Aries Kaiser Glider. Okay, last pack from the Dildus Black Kybers. Now 
And we've got Saggy the Dark Clown, Lord of D, Cloning, Vorse Raider as our rare, and, oh nice, XYZ Dragon Cannon as our super rare. That's really nice looking as well. Let's get that on the camera better. Really, really nice. Really happy with that one. I'm going to sleeve that up now. Really nice card, that one. I like that a lot. Cool. Set that aside then. So that was the Dualist Pack Kyber side. So good job that we got one of the good cards that Kyber has. Hopefully we have more luck with the Yugi side. Be really good to get a Dark Paladin. So we've got Black Luster Ritual, Diffusion Wave Motion, Red Gadget, Buster Blader, and Card of Sanct Sanctity. That's our rare. Swords of Revealing Light, Big Shield Gardener, Brain Control, Diffusion Wave Motion, and a Rare Dark Magician. And the last pack from the Yugi side. We've got Queen's Knight, Spellbinding Circle, King's Knight, Monster Reborn is our Rare, and our Super Rare. Oh, that is really, really nice. Really happy with that. I've got one of these from the movie, but it's in really bad condition and it's obviously not shiny. So really happy with that, that pull. That's really nice. Let's sleeve him up. So this is Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Let's get a nice look at that. Really, really happy with that pull. Excellent. Okay, I think that about wraps it up for this pack opening video. I might open up the uh, starter decks on a different video, um, but really happy with the pulls we got in this one. Uh, mainly those ones, really, really happy with. Um, so yeah, please stay tuned for more videos. We will be opening up a Toon Chaos Booster Box First Edition, and we do have a Battles of Legend Armageddon Booster Box to open as well, which is also a First Edition. So we're really hoping to get some collector's rares out of those or the 10,000 Dragon would be absolutely amazing. Um, so I'll be opening that both soon, so please stay tuned on the channel. Thanks very, very much for watching, guys. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to um, give me a like and, and some comments, and I really, really do appreciate it. Let me know if there's anything you want me to look at in the future. Cheers, guys.